birthplace of Western civilization, where paths once trod by Socrates, Plato and Aristotle still course through the metropolitan heart of modern Greece. Athens, home to the Acropolis and Parthenon, towering like timeless sentinels above the Plaka district, the city's most traditional, yet hip and funky locale. Host city of the 2004 Olympic Games, The Saronic Gulf, spreading like a 2,000-mile liquid lapis lazuli, harbors the magical islands of Salamina, Egina, Agistri, Hydra, Poros, Spetses, Kithira, Antikithira. The perfect playground so close to the metropolis. The Avoikos Gulf, between Evia and the mainland, is sprawled on the east of Athens and its coast includes many interesting towns. Attica has two subdivisions, the capital region, which includes all the municipalities of Athens and Piraeus, and the rest of Attica, mainly the eastern and western sections, the islands of the Saronic Gulf and the Troizen province. Attica's crown jewel, Athens, a magical blend of history tradition, commerce, philosophy, myths and legends, and contemporary lifestyle. Acropolis and the Parthenon, standing since the Bronze Age, rebuilt in the 5th century BC during the Golden Age of Pericles and the Athenian democracy, has always served as the city's fortress and the stage where important decisions crucial to our civilization have been made. Plaka, right beneath the sacred rock of the Acropolis, is the oldest and most charming district in the capital. Sindagma, also known as Constitution Square, Sindagma sits in front of the parliament and is the hub of Athens' contemporary lifestyle. Stand in the middle of the square on a quiet evening and you'll be transported to past protests, demonstrations, rallies, coup d'etat and revolutions. The Parliament. At times, it has housed various state services and following a six-year reconstruction period in 1935, it finally became the permanent home of the Hellenic Parliament. Hadrian's Gate and the Temple of Olympian Zeus. Northeast of the Acropolis, the imposing columns of the Temple of Olympian Zeus used to rise over the ancient city. Directly in front of it, and marking the entrance to the eastern section of Athens, is the monumental gateway, the Hadrian Marble Arch, built by the Roman Emperor Hadrian, a great admirer of Greece. The Panathenaic Stadium, built during the 4th century BC on the slopes of Arditos Hill and partially reconstructed for the modern Olympic Games of 1896, it has been associated with all major sports events in Greece. Zapion, one of the most important historical and architectural buildings in Athens, located near the National Gardens, is now used for private and public functions, but once served as the Olympic Village during the 1906 Olympics. Technopolis, Gazi. Originally built to house the Athens Gasworks plant during the 1860s, the compound has been superbly restored, serving as a centerpiece for the city of Athens. Piraeus. Selected as the port city for Athens in the 5th century BC, it's now the principal port of Greece. Located 12 kilometers from Sindagma Square, it serves as the commercial gateway of Athens to the Mediterranean and the world, with more than 20 million visitors passing through every year. Mikrolimano, not far away from Piraeus, is Mikrolimano, bursting with life and full of culinary temptations, a must-see for every visitor. Marathonas. Located 42 kilometers from Athens, this historic site will always be a memorial to the battle and the heroic struggle of ancient Athenians against the might of the invading Persian Empire. Cape Sunion. Rumored to be the site where King Aegeas leapt to his death, giving name to the Aegean Sea. Elefsina 
a town dedicated to the goddess Demeter and home to the Eleusinian Mysteries, the most important religious rite in ancient Greece. Lavrion, once the most important silver mining location in classical Greece and home today to significant ancient ruins and the classical theater of Thoricon. Rafina, a relatively young town established by the fleeing refugees of Anatolia in 1920, is today one of the busiest ports in Attica and its traffic, especially during the summer, rivals that of Piraeus. And the islands. Salamina, the ancient Salamis where the Greeks fought and defeated the Persian fleet in one of the most unpredictable naval victories in history is now the Saronic Gulf's largest island. Egina, a major maritime power during antiquity. Evidence of its past glory lingers on at the Temple of Athena Fair, the Governor's Manor and many interesting museums. Make sure you try the original Egina pistachio nuts. Affair. The Temple of Aphaea was built after the victorious naval battle of Salamis, or so says the ancient traveler Pafsanias. According to ancient tradition, the Temple of Aphaea, the Temple of Sunion, and the Parthenon form a legendary equilateral triangle. Agistri. Its name means fishing hook, and it really hooks its visitors with simplicity, charm, and relaxed lifestyle. Hydra. Donkeys are the island's transportation of choice, together with bicycles and water taxis. After a swim in the island's crystal clear waters, visitors don't miss the famous amygdalota, almond sweets made locally. Poros. It was the site of the first naval base in modern Greece, established in 1827 during the Greek War of Independence. The Temple of Poseidon, Burzi, Galatas, Smooth Hills, shallow valleys and a lemon tree forest charm all who visit the island. Methana, a unique little island situated on a volcanic peninsula with at least 30 volcanic eruption centers. Spetses, the fascinating old town, the museum, the house of revolutionary hero in Bubulina, the Anargyros Manor and the old harbor with its iconic lighthouse complete the image of an idyllic island. Troisen, on the south, is where Themistocles sent ancient Athenian families for safety before the Battle of Salamis. Kithira, here the traveler has many options. The medieval castle, old churches, lighthouses, and natural beauty vistas. Antikithira, sprawled over 20 square kilometers east of Kithira, once used as a base by Sicilian pirates and made famous by the notorious Antikythera mechanism, the most ancient form of a mechanical computer, now a prime choice of visitors who appreciate its calm. <laughs> to sum it all up, the term blessed land for Attica is fully justified. It's a land of prospects and potential profit like no other unique in location and climate, and a fertile ground for further development. We hope that this presentation painted a rather detailed picture of the region, and we thank you for watching it.